You are now listening to Durian ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing. Hi, this is Arlene from Durian ASEAN. Thank you for listening. This is an exclusive Durian ASEAN interview with Charles Santiago, a Malaysian politician and a member of parliament for the Klang constituency. This is one of the four-part interview regarding the trans Pacific Partnership, in which Malaysia is one of the member countries of the mega trade deal. Recently, Didiwan Rakyat held a two-day debate session with all members of Parliament to discuss and vote on the ratification of the TPP agreement. Here's the interview. If the TPP is being ratified and signed, what's next for the opposition's strategy? I think the ratification process will start very soon. It really involves amending local laws so that it's in compliance with the TPP agreement. That will start now. It will go on for the next two years. And then finally, uh, after two years, the Americans will do a certification process. This is going to be interesting because the Americans are known to push for new changes and push for new laws at that point. Now, there is a big problem with the certification. You will see a situation whereby Malaysia says, in the case of biologics, we have a five-year market protection or data exclusivity. But the Americans have said clearly it is not five years, but it is eight years. So therefore, this is going to be an issue that has to be resolved at that time. Malaysian law doesn't allow for eight years. It only says five years. But the Americans are saying it's eight years. So that is why uh, I pressed the uh, minister saying, if the Americans won eight years, will you give in? He said, no, we will not give in. So we just have to wait and see. What should Malaysia expect if the TPP is being ratified? Well, then you have to be compliant with all the agreements that they have made. And the issue of transparency and uh, gov- uh, corruption, they are non-binding. Non-binding means, you know, you don't ha- really have to do it. Though. And given the state of corruption in Malaysia, there is no political will period, in order to deal with the issue of transparency and governance, as well as corruption. If there is no will to do it in the country itself, and when you have the number one man in the country embroiled in a huge controversy, people have no faith that anything will change in this country.